What's up, everybody? My name's Tyler. We got here with us two beast. We got the uh, Stump Jumper Evo and the standard Stump Jumper, both in expert builds. Stump Jumper Evo is my personal bike. This bike behind me here is one that I got to borrow, so it is first impressions. If you want to see some first impressions on that bike, I've got it linked somewhere up here. If you want to see short-term review on the Evo, I'll have that linked somewhere over here. And yeah, this is comparison between the Stump Jumper Evo and the standard Stump Jumper, which is for you. That said, let's dive in. We've got two very different bikes. They both carry that Stump Jumper name, and that's about where the similarities end. The Stump Jumper Evo sitting over here is 150 mil travel in the rear, 160 up front, beast of a bike. The standard Stump Jumper behind me is 130 with a 140 travel fork on the front. And yeah, they're kind of built for different things. The Stump Jumper Evo's frame is definitely more heavy duty, built with heavier intentions. You got a Fox 36, DPX two rear shock. Both are definitely gravity oriented. Whereas on the standard Stump Jumper, you're running a float rear shock paired with a 34 on the front. Evo has the codes, which are downhill oriented, and the standard Stump Jumper has G2 RSCs by SRAM, which is more of an all mountain brake. A little bit different tire situation. Otherwise, the bikes are super similar. The sizing on these two bikes is a bit different. What's interesting is at six foot, I'm recommended an S4 on both bikes. I opted for the S3 on my Evo and don't regret it. No second thoughts on that very happy with that choice. The bike behind me is an S4 and because of the different geometry and travel lengths and just all the factors that make a bike what it is, the S4 feels very appropriate. So take the time, go to your shop, talk to the employees, get on them if they're available, pedal it around, see what size works for you and make sure you really get what you need just because they are different. The standard stump jumper is more of an all arounder. So if you're gonna only have one bike, my first impressions are that's the bike you want. It's really good up, it's really good down, and together that just creates an amazing all-arounder. It's super balanced in its ride characteristics. It's supportive while pedaling. It doesn't zap you of energy, and it's just gonna make a long day in the saddle really comfortable. If you're also doing hot laps after work, trying to get Dawn Patrol, this is gonna be the bike you wanna grab. It's just quick, it's efficient. You can figure out where you're going on the way to the trails and know that you've got the right tools with you to execute those rides. Stump Jumper Evo though, on the other hand, that's my personal bike. I've been loving it, but it is a heavier hitter. So I am fortunate I have an Epic uh, as well as a couple other bikes that really round out the quiver. And without those, I don't know that the Evo would be the bike for me because it is a bit heavier, it's a bit sluggish on the climbs. It climbs well, like don't get me wrong, it climbs well, but if it's my only bike and I'm gonna rush out for a quick lap before the sun sets, you're gonna cover a lot more ground on the standard Stump Jumper. So climbing for the two bikes, it's a bit different. They're both good climbers. The Stump Jumper definitely takes the cake in that category, just being more efficient. It's got the one piece rear end where it's, it's relying on flex stays instead of pivots. The Evo over here has pivots, so the chain stays, seat stays, there's a pivot in between. And that actually impacts the ride quality quite a bit. The Evo, it's smooth, it's efficient, but that stump jumper just feels really supportive. When you go to push into the pedals, it's really supportive, but it's also still really active when you're hitting small rocks. So if you're doing a lot of climbing or climbing is your thing, you're probably gonna be happier with the standard stump jumper. So then when it comes to pointing the bikes downhill, the Evo, it's a monster truck. So if you have rowdy trails, rowdy terrain, and that's just all you're ever riding, that might be the bike for you. In Colorado, I have access to big descents, and that's where the bike comes alive and just has me smiling ear to ear. But that said, the, uh, the standard stump jumper is not far behind. It can hold its own. Just because my time on it was very short, I would like to spend more time fine tuning the suspension, and I think that will really extend the bike's capabilities and allow me to feel like I could get away with more than I could. Because the Evo, every time you see rocks, it just wants to go straight over. If not around, just straight over. It's such a monster truck, it's such a fun bike to ride downhill. So how to decide which bike is for you? I think it really comes down to where you live, what your riding style is, 
all these things that you have to unfortunately answer yourself. But I think everybody's ride is going to be 50-50 climbing, descending if you're starting in the same spot. So I would look at it as how interactive are your climbs? If you're just pedaling road climbs to get to the top and then shredding some crazy single track on the way down, the Evo might be a great option because you can lock it out, um, just settle in and just kind of grind away. Whereas if you have really technical single track and it's requiring you to be fully focused and just on your game on the climbs, that's where the stump jumper really comes alive. It's a fun bike to actually ride uphill. So you gotta really evaluate what your needs are, what your expectations are for a ride. Both bikes are awesome. They both have the SWAT system. They share a lot of features. Just a little bit of characteristics difference. Yeah, both are great bikes. At the end of the day, regardless of what you choose, you're gonna be stoked. That's kind of the, that's what makes the decision so hard is they're both so awesome. They're both so good at pretty much everything. Stump Jumper's just a little bit better on the climbing side and the Evo's a bit better on the descending. So I guess that pretty much sums it up. So hopefully you found this helpful. Both are sweet bikes. You're not gonna be disappointed. Thanks for checking out the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll do the best that I can to get those answered for you. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And we'll see you next time.